Porters and welcome back to my channel on the debut episode of the third season of the Kardashians. Khloe Kardashian opened up a little bit about her surrogacy journey with her second child. We know that with her first child, True Thompson, she delivered her daughter naturally and she carried that pregnancy herself as well. But now when it came comes to the second child, a son named Tatum, she actually had to go and hire a surrogate to carry the child for her because she was having difficulty in that respect. And I actually think outside of fertility, it might have been relationship issues as well, because we all know Dirty D, Tristan, or should I say Trash Can Thompson, had been doing her dirty for ages. So she talked on the debut episode about like kind of some trauma surrounding the surrogacy. And I was like, oh, like maybe she's talking about how every time she gets pregnant, knucklehead over here has to embarrass, humiliate, just devastate her with his cheating filthy peen ways. But no, she's actually talking about the surrogacy itself. I've got a clip for the episode and I do want to share it with you. So why don't we watch it together? It's, I just have to tell you, please don't be upset with me that I need to pause it from time to time. It's just, I need to do it or else I'll just delete the whole video and we can't watch it in general. Okay. It's copyright reasons. So if something's being played a little bit too, for too long, then um, what happens is it trips the cock copyright triggers. Okay. So let's get into it. So here she is sitting down with Scott Disick, who is her sister, Courtney's ex boyfriend. And she's with Kim Kardashian, who actually also went through surrogacy as well, who's going to help her explain like the trauma that she went through. Surrogate process. Kim knows it's really hard for me. Well, what does that mean? She had a really hard time accepting the whole oh, process. Got it. It's a mind. It's really the worst right, thing. I, I do that think that there is a difference when the baby is in your belly the baby actually feels your real heart. Think about it. Right. It like touches your organ. Like it's feel, there's no one else on this planet that will feel you from the inside like that, like your heart. So I do think it was really wonderful and interesting the way that Kim explained it about what's going on inside of your body when you are actually carrying a child versus when you were watching someone else have a child and pay attention to what it is that Scott has to say here. So first of all, Scott, as a man, could never understand what it's like for, you know, to be pregnant. Right. Um, so he does crack. He will crack a little bit of a joke about it. But I did think it was a profound, interesting kind of moment from Kim here. You know, <laughs> I got so many good jokes. And People can connect in different ways. People so could not connect. Do you feel less connected? Mm -hmm. So I do also think it was quite validating the way that Kim says, you know, people can connect in different ways or not connect. Because here's the thing, just because you carried a child and you delivered the child yourself doesn't mean that you're going to automatically connect with that child, right? There's so many um, women who have talked about not feeling connected with their children after giving birth or even like throughout the pregnancy and whatnot. There are so many different factors there. It's not like a 1000% guarantee. And, you know, there are a variety of different ways to connect. For example, men can't give birth, men can't get pregnant, but they can still feel connected to their children in some way. But um, I think it's because they go in with the expectation and knowing that it's just not physically possible for them. But maybe Chloe feels this sort of way because she feels like as a woman, you should be, you know, having a child that way. Like she knows that it wasn't possible for her and that's why she had to go through the surrogacy route. But there's still that thing in your head that's saying this feels like unnatural for me as a woman, you know? Um, let's continue on. That'll take a minute. Yeah, people say it'll I take mean, a minute. I mean, listen, but Kim the other was said 10 hers, months of hers walking was around. Like, easy. This is not easy. Mm -hmm. I definitely like buried. So Scott does try to encourage her by saying, hey, like, you know, it'll take a minute. Um, I think he was trying to say that it took him 10 months to connect to one of his children, but he got cut off there, which was quite unfortunate. Um, and Chloe's feeling a bit weird about it because Chloe, uh, Kim did not have the same problem. She's got two children by a surrogate and both times she was able to connect like that. My head in the sand during that pregnancy that I didn't digest what was happening. And so I think when I went to the hospital, I really think that was the first time that really registered. You know what I think is another reason why Chloe was not able to like get her head in the game for this pregnancy? I think it's because, again, Trash Can Thompson was out there cheating. It came out at the same time that they put this egg and embryo and whatnot into the surrogate that Trash Can Dirty P. Thompson had impregnated another woman by the name of Marley Nichols. So the fact that Chloe was re-traumatized in the same way by this demonic human being 
I think that that prevented her from being able to feel happy. It's like, oh my God, like the second and last one, and you have to do this to me again. Like, I just feel like she was probably just dealing with so much, the trauma of this man and everything, and just like trying to be there for the child that they already have together. And just like worrying about how foolish she looks having another baby with someone like this. Like, yeah, it was an awful lot for her to handle. And I feel bad for her to some, some extent, but to another um, extent, it's like, well, girl, like get some balls, man. Like, stop allowing this in your life. You should have cut this man off when he cheated on you the third, fourth time. It has nothing to do with the baby. It's just, you're like, okay, we're having a baby and this is my son and I'm taking him home with me. And I definitely was in a state of shock, I think, from my entire experience in general. See, she's being really coy about it. When she says she was in a state of shock from her entire experience in general, she's not just talking about the surrogacy. She's talking about filthy peen Thompson. Don't stop. Don't stop. I felt really guilty that like this woman just had a my baby and you're just I take the baby and then I go to another room and you're sort of separated like I felt it's such a transactional experience. So this to me, I think is a very, very, very important thing to bring up and talk about like it feels cold, it feels transactional and it feels just like hurtful almost or like damaging almost to the surrogate, especially the you know, the fact that you were carrying this child, you're bonding with this child from the inside and everything for 10 uh, months, nine, 10 months. And all of a sudden, like you give birth, which is so like grueling and painful and whatnot. Um, and then you're just left there, like, like you're nothing, right? Like they take the baby, bring it to the other room with the biological parents. And then you're like chopped liver over there. Like to me, that sounds depressing. That sounds like something that would like leave me spiraling. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I the way she's describing it, it doesn't sound very pleasant for the surrogate. It doesn't sound very like empathetic or caring or loving or, um, you know what I mean, for the surrogate. It feels cold and it does feel transactional and it does feel like a bit icky from that perspective. But I don't think that Chloe was um, stopped from having contact with the surrogate, going back to check on her or anything like that. Like maybe we'll get more details about that in a later episode, but... Uh, yeah, it, it definitely is food, food for thought there. It sounds like that was something that traumatized her. She felt a certain level of guilt because I do think that, yeah, Chloe can be a sassy person and whatnot, but I do think that she is a very like caring and loving person and that she felt for the surrogate in that moment. Like the idea that you are doing all this work, you're risking your body, your health and everything to have a baby for me. And then we just bounce on you and leave you alone and like hand you the rest of your money and whatnot. Like, yeah, like I do think that that probably traumatized her at least a little bit, especially because she knows how it feels to have a sort of traumatic like birthing experience or whatnot. Because remember, Chloe was sent into early labor because filthy peen trash can Thompson had cheated on her again and it was super public and it just like really was shocking to her body and her system and so like she was sent into labor by that this is why whenever people go grace why do you call him trash can thompson what are you this you know what like i feel like calling him trash can thompson for the way he abuses women and doesn't even acknowledge his third child or whatever number child that is um i feel like that's going easy on him he is demonic he is evil and if you want to stick up for him stick up for him on your own i am not going to stop calling this man trash because that's even too generous for him i think trash is nicer than this man because it's not about him i wish someone was honest about surrogacy mm -hmm. and the difference of it but it doesn't mean it's bad or good it's still great it's just very different to be honest with you, I'm quite surprised that Chloe was not aware of these things because like she says earlier on, her sister, Kim Kardashian, had dealt with surrogates. I think she had two surrogates before Chloe even like had, um, you know, Tatum via a surrogate. So what does she mean? She was out of the loop. She's got a lot of resources. She's got a lot of time and everything as like, you know, this reality star and whatnot. Like she could have learned this stuff if it was really all that interesting to her. Um, so I, I don't love her kind of like being like, oh, why didn't anyone tell me? Why didn't anyone this? Why didn't anyone that? Like, girl, all those resources in the world, all the time in the world, because you got a full staff taking care of everything in your house, right? 
Like, what do you mean? Right. And you've got your sister who's had two surrogates. Like, I don't know, something about that just rubs me the wrong way. But I do think that it is awesome that she is raising awareness about this and how sort of cold it's, uh, it kind of feels at the end. You kind of feel like, damn, like we can't like kind of have a smoother transition than here, push it out, peace out kind of a thing. Like, yeah, to me, that sounds icky. I'm not going to lie, you know, but I am curious to know what you guys think about her opinion and everything. So please make sure to leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat, make sure to follow for more videos and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye guys.